Hello guys, Oscar Hotel 8 Sierra Tango November Julian here for Off Grid Ham Radio. Many of you have asked how to charge our Microsoft Surface or other laptop or tablet off grid when running on the 12 volts we use for our ham radio gear. And that's today's topic charging our laptop or tablet with 12 volts off grid in the field. All right, guys, let's get started. You are listening to the emergency broadcast systems. This station broadcasts emergency news and official information on the air for a sign area. Before we really get going, it's important to take a moment to talk about choosing a tablet or laptop for ham radio communications off grid. As you know, most laptops and tablets, they utilize 19 volts or some proprietary voltage standard to charge up their internal batteries. This is what we don't want when we're off grid and in the field. We want to use what's called USB-C power delivery. Of course, a laptop or tablet which uses 12 volts natively is also okay. Now, most often we see laptops and tablets using some proprietary standard for charging. That might be 20 volts, 19 volts, 17 volts, or uh, in very few cases there are laptops which use 12 volts natively. But what we're really looking for these days is laptops and tablets which charge over USB-C power delivery. USB-C power delivery is a standard which allows us to charge devices which are 5 volts, 9 volts, 12 volts, 15 volts, or even 20 volts, 3 amps. The Microsoft Surface is one of those devices. Now, our Microsoft Surface is not the only laptop or tablet which is utilizing USB-C power delivery. We also have the Dell Latitude series, including the rugged models, which can be charged with USB-C power delivery. Also, we have my Lenovo Yoga C940. This is the laptop I do my video editing on. Although the connector on the laptop isn't USB-C power delivery, the other end of the cable is, just like the Microsoft Surface Connect cable. So it has a proprietary Lenovo connector going into the laptop, but USB-C power delivery, the USB-C side of the cable. We're even beginning to see some ham radio equipment being equipped with USB-C power delivery, like the Zygu X6100 and X6200, and the Retivis Alunes HD1 and HD2. In the case of the Retivis Alunes HD1 and HD2, the batteries have USB-C power delivery built in so that you can charge them with the same charger you use for your tablet, laptop, or mobile phone. Let's take a moment to talk about the charging cables. Now we're using the Microsoft Surface primarily on the channel. And as I mentioned, uh, while ago, we have a Microsoft Surface Connect cable. And on the other side, USB-C power delivery. However, on Microsoft Surface models, which also have a USB-C power delivery port, we could use a standard USB-C power delivery on both ends. For example, when using the ICOM IC705 wirelessly. This also works through a hub if you want to charge and connect to your radio at the same time. For the Lenovo Yoga, and just to make a point, we again have a Lenovo proprietary cable, but on the other side, USB-C power delivery. We tend to think of the Microsoft Surface as using the Microsoft Connect cable we can also charge the Microsoft Surface over its USB-C power delivery input. In fact, the Microsoft Surface Connect, although it has a weird connector, the other end is USB-C power delivery. Now, naturally, there are some benefits to using USB-C power delivery. And for the most part, this means standardized charging for multiple devices. We can charge our mobile phone, we can charge our tablet, we can charge our laptop, and in some cases, even our radios, with a single power source, USB-C power delivery. 
Of course, radios, high power radios and things like that are still using 12 volts to charge their internal batteries, but for the most part, standardized charging over multiple devices offers us some unique advantages that uh, we haven't seen very often in the ham radio community previously. But all right, guys, let's go ahead and show you actually how I get the charging done. So what I've done for charging is uh, created a cable. On one end of the cable, we have an Anderson power pole. On the other hand, we have a coaxial plug for the ICOM IC705 or the Zygu X6100. And we have another Anderson power pole. This is what all three ends of the cable look like. Naturally, one end of the cable goes to our battery. And the battery I'm using is the 50 amp hour Power Queen lithium iron phosphate battery for this test. Then one end will go to the ICOM IC705 or to the Zygu X6100. Then I have a cigarette lighter socket adapter and I've installed Anderson power poles on one end. And then I have a USB-C power delivery adapter. So we have a quick charge three on one side and we have USB-C power delivery on the other. And this one is capable of outputting more than a hundred watts. That means if you have a energy hungry laptop, you can charge it up with this device. Now the way I put all of these things together is actually quite simple. I take the cigarette lighter socket and the USB-C power delivery adapter and plug them into one another. Now we basically have a minimal laptop or tablet power supply and we can charge of course two devices at once with the USB-A and the USB-C. Then I'll plug this other end with the free Anderson power pole connector to that end and there's the power cable for the USB-C device. Next, I'll plug in the radio's cable. So now the radio is connected. The USB-C power delivery is ready to go. All we have to do is connect the battery. Now that the battery is connected, we should be able to see a little LED to indicate the USB-C power delivery is active. We can also see the Zygu X6100 is charging. Now, we can take our USB-C connect cable and plug it into our USB-C adapter. So this is how everything looks when it's all connected up. We've got the X6100, we've got the Microsoft Surface, our makeshift DIY power distribution cable with USB-C power delivery. Now I have another device here that we can use and it's actually going to become very important because this device is going to tell us 
how much power we're using over the USB-C power delivery. This is important because it'll tell us which adapter or the specifications of the adapter we need to buy, basically defining our requirements. So now that I know that my Microsoft Surface connected to USB-C power delivery over the Surface Connect cable uses 15 volts and at the moment oh, less than 200 milliamps. So that's not bad, yeah? It's about 4 watts, 3.5 watts. So that's okay. It would be nice to know how much it takes during a maximum charge, but my... Let's look at it here. Yeah, my battery is fully charged, so it's just idling. So when the surface is running off of the internal battery, it doesn't put very much load on our ham radio battery at all, as you can see. So now I've connected the Dell Latitude laptop over USB-C to our makeshift adapter. The battery isn't full on the Dell Latitude, so it's going to be charging at a higher capacity. So, we're at about 20 watts, 19 watts, 20 watts, and uh, almost an amp, but we're at 20 volts because the Lenovo, sorry, because the Dell Latitude uh, charges at a higher rate. So we could also use that uh, Wallwort laptop brick, which is also 19 or 20 volts. But what we're doing now is, well, basically our adapter is a DC-DC converter. USB-C power delivery will boost the voltage from whatever is coming in to whatever the laptop says it needs. That's a specification of the chip. So I've already shown you this one and how it powers the Surface as well as the Dell Latitude. But this isn't the only solution. Many of you probably won't want to mess around with this cigarette lighter socket and a car adapter. So let's put that aside and show you this one. So I haven't had as much luck with a wide variety of devices because... Um, this doesn't have the capability as the car adapter does. However, at the moment it is charging the Dell Latitude. I'll show you. 30 minutes until full. Power mode plugged in and best performance. Now the nice thing about this one, it has two USB-C power delivery outputs. But um, of course if you plug in two devices, two power delivery devices, you're only going to get uh, half of the power across those two devices, across those two ports. So be careful with that. I only use it with one port at a time. Now the nice thing about this one is it has an off switch, power switch. So now you can see power is off, not charging. I'll switch the power back on. And as soon as it completes the negotiation, it should say it's plugged in and charging. Interesting that it's not doing that yet. Ah, there we go. Outstanding. It's 28 minutes until fully charged. So this is a panel mount adapter. The guts inside are probably very similar than the uh, car adapter that we used in the first part of this video. But you have to be really careful because just because it says USB-C power delivery doesn't mean that it's fully compatible with the standard. Anyway, 
I'll leave links in the description for both adapters, the car adapter, and that's actually the most reliable one, and that's why I use it. Uh, so I'll leave links for this one and for the car adapter. For the cigarette lighter socket, just go to your local auto parts store and get one which is capable of uh, at least 5 amps. If the wires are really small, so don't buy it, regardless of what it says. So I'll leave links for this one and the panel mount version. But this video has given you enough information so that you can uh, look at the specifications of the adapters you find to be sure that they are compatible with your mobile device, tablet or laptop. So there you have it, guys. Now you know everything I know about powering the Microsoft Service and other USB-C power delivery based tablets and laptops off grid. As you can see, even with the DIY cables we made, it's actually quite a clean installation. And keep in mind, you only need the charging cable when you're actually charging, when your tablet's internal battery is depleted. So. This is much easier, much smaller, much lighter, much easier to carry and set up than carrying bricks and inverters and all sorts of uh, chaotic equipment unnecessarily. All right, guys, look, if you like what I'm doing, if you like the content that I'm creating, please let me know by leaving me a comment, a thumbs up, or even a super thanks to let me know. And if it's not too much to ask, please share this video with someone or someplace where other operators might enjoy it. Rock and roll, guys. As always, you are all absolutely magnificent. Thanks for watching. Ciao.